Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the south, or specifically Louisville, Kentucky, and even more specifically than that, I'm in front of the Frazier Museum. This is a museum in uh, downtown Louisville, Kentucky. You know, I don't really know much about it, um, but you know, I try not to give myself a lot of hard and fast rules as I make these road trips, but one rule that I've always stuck with, even before I started these videos, is something I call the EM rule, and that is every museum has something worth seeing. Now the most, you know, even a museum that may seem like a big snooze fest at first, often has at least one item that will blow your mind. So the EM rule is in effect and we're headed into the Fraser History Museum. Follow me. cool toys here. Really like this Arctic scene. Right there, that penguin. And then watch out. It's the polar bear. There to be an overabundance of toy soldiers in this museum. Oh, but there's some nice little Mickey Mouse toys. There's Clarabelle the cow. Oh yeah, the history of toy soldiers. There's a mandolin. I actually tried to learn to play the mandolin once and I learned that I'm not a musical person. So now, my mandolin is in Rwanda. Ask me that story sometime. <laughs> Some historical helmets, that's a Prussian helmet. And here's an early American helmet, believe it or not. This is only from 1918. Apparently our soldiers look like stormtroopers. Here's an American soldier helmet that's been decorated. I guess he put things on there he liked. Like poker, I like, guess he liked gambling. There's a beer, I think. I guess he enjoyed drinking beers. And uh, some dice. Yeah, big gambler. There's a lady's shoe. I guess when no one was around, he liked to put on a lady's shoe or two. And that's a skull right there. Well, they even have some toy soldiers that you can actually play with. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, oh, wait, those guys are on the same side. Let me get an opposing guy. Oh no, here comes Genghis Khan. Boom, <laughs> I will rule the world. And he really did, he, his, his territory was the size of Africa. Oh look, there's the world's smallest Henry VIII. Model blimps here. I really like this one. It's really got some steampunk quality to it. Almost looks like the one from Up. Alright, looks like we got another play table here for toy soldiers. This one is knights versus cowboys. Yeah, this poor cowboy is trying to protect his wife and child with a lasso. But this guy's got a big freaking sword. This is actually a shooting target right here. It's a drummer. You can see his, there's, a, there's a place you can shoot right there. And he's got some clockwork in his back, so I'm guessing that you would shoot that and he would play the drums in celebration of getting shot. Now this gun here almost looks like it's got a saddle on it. Like you would have a little elf sit on it and I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Pretty brutal crossbow looking right there. Oh yeah, there's some, some samurai outfits. The collection is almost like, like if a, a little boy Little boy had infinite money and just bought everything he thought was awesome. And here's America's least controversial war, the Civil War. Ooh, they got some stereo opticons. These are really cool. It's like the first viewfinder, or viewmaster rather. Oh, he's gotta love the penny farthing bikes, and everybody's just gotta wonder what was going through their head when they invented bikes, and they thought that that was the best configuration, one giant wheel one little wheel. Step by step, heart to heart, we all fall down like toy soldiers. Go ahead and hate your neighbor. Go ahead and hate your friend. 
Do it in the name of heaven. You can justify it in the end. There won't be any trumpets blowing. Come the judgment day. Not on the bloody morning after. One tin soldier rides away. There's the Confederate flag, the non Dukes of Hazard version. Look at this. We have Custer, the notorious Indian fighter, and actually have his pistol right there. Guess he won't be needing them where he is. This museum actually has Teddy Roosevelt's big stick. Unfortunately, it's not an actual stick. It's really more like a, like a big gun. There's a teddy bear too, because you know, Teddy. See, when Teddy always talked about uh, speaking softly and carrying a big stick, I always thought it was a literal stick, you know, like Buford Pusser. You're one of the most famous Native American warriors of all time, Geronimo. I have his bow and arrow. Ironic that Geronimo's bow and arrow and uh, Custer's pistol would end up in the same room in Kentucky. <laughs> Given what we've already seen in this museum, that's pretty random. <laughs> I see these in Ripley's museum sometimes, but they're always creepy. These hair wreaths made make wreaths out of their friend's hair to help remember them when they're gone for a long period of time. Oh, and there's a quilt. You know, I love quilts because uh, cause they're great. Love quilts. Oh, wow. That's pretty impressive. An actual tin type of Jesse James. And then over here, they have uh, a picture of his dead body. And of course, uh, yeah, there's his gun. Now that's something else. That is an actual arrest warrant for Mary Todd Lincoln, I guess her son felt that she had lost her mind and had her committed to a mental institution. And then there is uh, that same son, his, uh, his garment, a, a little shirt made by his mom. So she makes him a shirt and he sticks her in the loony bin. Although I think he may have been a little bit older when he had her uh, committed. And because this is Kentucky, the gift shop has a massive amount of bourbon for sale. The y'all shirt. This is actually made by Kentucky for Kentucky. They have uh, their own shop where they have the cocaine bear. And of course, every southern attraction must have a moonshine still. And every Kentucky attraction must have an, a late one vending machine. I would get some, but it... Um, it tastes bad. It's really not good. Now, this is a secular saint candle. I guess like, like a religious candle. But uh, I guess you can light a candle for old Abe. Yes, it's a Lincoln salt shaker. And yes, he has a hole in his head. Ay, ay, ay. Wilbraham Lincoln, I wasn't expecting to see you here. I was just hanging out with my friend. George Washington. Yes, George Washington. Now this right here's gotta be the single greatest piece of merchandise I've ever seen. It's it's Abraham, Abraham Lincoln's beard. Put a beard in a bag, why not? Bunch of historical hats here from Abraham Lincoln's top hat to a Union Civil War hat to a ladies bonnet, a Confederate hat and Lady Gaga's pioneer hat. And I'm all hyped up about those toy soldiers and they even buy my own bag. You know, I always thought that this guy right here, the laying down guy, I always thought he was completely useless. My dad's suggestion, kill him off first and he can just be a dead body. All right, so the Fraser Museum here in Louisville, Kentucky. Kind of an interesting uh, museum. We'll you know what to expect. It seems like mostly a collection of toy soldiers, obviously, but um, yeah. Uh, and then they had a few like really crazy historical artifacts, like Geronimo's bow, and then uh, an arrest warrant for Mary Todd Lincoln and Teddy Roosevelt's gun. So yeah, interesting. And there's always always going to be something in a museum that's going to impress you. There's maybe one or two exceptions, but other than that, museums are usually worth it. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. If you'd like to see other great museums I've been to, check the map.
in the description and it'll show you all the places I've been and you make suggestions on places that I need to go. Also, if you'd like to contribute to the channel, uh, there's a t-shirt shop down below as well as a Patreon where if you donate at least $3 a month, I will send you postcards while I'm out and about on my road trips. But for now, this one's in the bag.